Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come, that ye shall be scattered every man to his own, and shall leave me alone, and yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. This is interesting because when he goes into Gethsemane, it's as if the Father is removed from him, uh, perhaps casting a, a veil over him at that point. But at this moment, standing at the top of the Kidron Valley, ready to go into Gethsemane, he's saying, you're all going to scatter and leave me, but I'm, I'm not alone because the Father is with me. It's fascinating that from the time he goes into Gethsemane, it seems that he is treading the winepress alone to the point where the most heartfelt, soul-wrenching prayer of all time is going to be uttered by him the next day in the afternoon at around 3 p.m. on the cross when he's going to, to call out in a loud voice, my God, my God, why hast thou forsake, forsaken me? Here in this moment, he's saying, the Father is with me. It's almost as if uh, he wasn't aware or wasn't uh, notified that this was going to be one of the elements of the infinite atoning sacrifice, is he was going to be cut off from the presence of the Father, uh, which is one of the elements of suffering through the pains of hell for and in behalf of us to overcome the, the bands of hell for us. 